gotta get the supplies together. It's all about having the supplies together and organized. That's really, really helpful when you're trying to get a decent leg workout in from your home gym garage setup. So uh, I spent the last couple days doing more cleaning, more organizing, digging through stuff that I haven't looked at in a really long time, trying to get uh, my best setup going for my workouts. So, uh, and, and it's better. It's I found things I didn't know I had, I'd forgotten about, that I haven't touched in a long time. So it's good. Uh, and thank you for joining me. <laughs> uh, how, how is everybody today? Hi, Kim. Uh, Francisco. Who do we have? Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Edward. So good to see you. Um, Joshua. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope you're all well, uh, feeling healthy, uh, doing all right. Hi, Jermaine. Uh, great to see you all. Uh, thank you for joining me in my garage. In, uh, in my garage. Hey, Brandon. Hello, hello, Virginia. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm staying home. I'm minding my P's, my P's and Q's and uh, getting my workouts in, getting projects done, um, staying busy, staying really, really busy. Um, hi, Jose. AppSource, hello. <laughs> thank you for joining me. So, um, first I wanna thank you for giving me your time um, and for talking to me. I appreciate that uh, and hanging out with me. Um, I want to show you the leg workout that I did this week. Um, you know, I'm coming into the gym and I don't really know exactly what equipment I have. I have stuff, I'm still going through boxes. And so I was kind of surprised to be able to get a pretty decent leg workout in at home with a limited amount of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I did and what equipment I used. Um, and then my, my wheels have been turning uh, about, well, what if I didn't have this? What exercises could I do? What would I do? Because I wanna stay on track uh, for my health, my health and my fitness and my, my uh, mental well-being too. Uh, working out is a great source of comfort for me um, and my mental state and well-being uh, is really, really important, especially in really stressful times and so I'm gonna share with you some of the ideas that I came up with. First, I'm gonna share with you the workout that I was able to do at home. I did seven exercises uh, from here. So I did quadriceps, and then I did my hamstring biceps, and uh, in that was incorporated the glutes, gluteus, um, and I got a pretty good workout in. Uh, I did a total of seven exercises. I did a full workout and I was also testing my foot, the foot that I had surgery on uh, back in November. I'm still not uh, able to do all my normal range of motion stuff, but I'm getting better and better. And so the foot held up really nicely this week. And hello everybody who's joining me uh, just now. It's great to see you. Uh, <laughs> Rex, Brandon, um, after I show you what I've done, then I will sit down and we can wrap for a couple minutes. I'd love to get um, you know, some ideas from you about what you're doing at home. I'd love to answer questions for you related to the workouts. Uh, and so we'll wrap, okay? So first I wanna show you what I did because that's my promise. My leg workout. I did seven exercises starting with quads. And I always start off really light. I always start off stretching because you know, you get up in the morning and everything is achy, the back, the hips, everything needs to get warmed up. Hey, Eric. Uh, I'm already getting, I'm already, you, you're giving me exercises to do? <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm going to share with you the seven that I did. So I started, I started with uh, squats. 
and uh, I don't have a lot of weight. But I have what I need. Now, if you don't have weights at home, most people don't. Um, you can use the bar, you could just use your own body weight. You could just use your own body weight. I have a weight set, it's a home weight set. So the first exercise I did after I warmed up, after I did some stretching, the first exercise I did was squats. Squats is one of the best exercises on the planet. It's a great compound movement. It uses more than just your legs. It improves your balance, your overall strength. It's a great exercise. I don't have a lot of weight here, but I have just enough to get a good exercise. So the first exercise was my squats. I did four sets, starting with 15 repetitions. And because the weight is a little light for me, I did four sets of 15 repetitions of my squats. Oh my God, that feels so good. So exercise number one, squats. You don't have weight, get a broom. If you're having problems with balance, hold on to something and do your squats. You're gonna feel better, okay? I did four sets of squats to start my workout. Then, <laughs> you still with me? I need some, I do need music. I do. I always work out to great music. With the YouTube thing though, I have to be careful that I'm not using music that I don't have license right to use, so I can't use it now. That's why it's quiet here, you gotta listen to me. All right, so exercise number two that I did was, lunge up, was lunges. I just grabbed my 10 pound dumbbells and I did four sets of lunges alternating with the dumbbells. You don't have to use weight. This is where I put my foot to the test. I haven't been able to do lunges in, let's see, November, December, January, February, in four months. But now I can do my lunges. Oh my God, that feels so good. Lunge, lunge, lunge. Lunges. I did four sets of lunges with the 10, 15 pound dumbbells. 15 repetitions each set, okay? So I'm already eight sets in, two exercises. M my voice is better than music, thank you. <laughs> it's very sweet. Hey Jared, my foot is doing really good. Thank you, I was really happy. A little nervous about the lunges because you know you gotta go up on the ball on your foot but so far so good. Okay, because it's based on the equipment that I have, the next thing I did for my leg workout was step ups. So I'm gonna pull. 
So I grabbed this bench that I have. I love this little bench. I gotta tell you, let me show you this. I'm gonna show you this. Hang on. See that little bench? This little bench is so awesome. I'm gonna share the link with you on where I got this bench. Cause it's, uh, it's great. It has a lot of versatility. And I was able to use this for my step ups with this workout. And uh, of course, when I talk about doing my quad workout, the exercises that I'm showing you are working, you know, the quadriceps, medialis, lateralis. And what I do and I mentioned this to you in previous workouts, what I do is, I do a set. Like I do a set of squats. After my set, I will flex the muscle that I'm working on. Flex, flex, flex. Flex, flex, flex. Flex, flex, flex. And then I stretch. So do the exercise, flex, stretch. Got that? That's true for every exercise, every set, every body part. That's how I train, okay? And when I'm done showing you the rest of the, the exercises, I'll explain why I do that and how it benefits me, okay? Set, flex, stretch. All right, so my next exercise, number three for my quads, for my legs, was the step up. You can do these one at a time. If it's balance issue, your glute, you're gonna feel your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, or you can do them alternating. So if you don't have a bench, if you have a block or a low table, something that you're gonna have that's really solid, if you can't do this, then don't do it. You need something really solid so that when you step on it, it doesn't flip, okay? This is a great little bench. That's why I'm gonna share the information with you on where I got this bench. Because it's really, really solid. It's a stepping bench. Okay, so, on the step-ups, that's my third exercise, I did four sets, okay, 12 to 15 repetitions each round, that was my third exercise on my quads, okay, to finish off my quad workout, I happen to have ankle weights, Hi, Jermaine. How many, uh, how many years have I been working out? I've been working out for over 36 years. Let me show you what I did in the fourth exercise. So I have, I have ankle weights that I just found. I'm gonna move this piece of wood. And I'm gonna bring in my other bench. This 
is a higher bench. Now you can do this. I'm going to do um, leg extensions for the quadriceps specifically. It's an isolation movement. You can do this using a chair, like a, a dining room table chair. Ideally something with, uh, that's flat, with support. Maybe it has a uh, good support back. You can do leg extensions with no weight. I did 15 repetitions for my quadriceps. And it's essentially a leg extension in the gym. It's a leg extension machine, and of course you can add weight. The angles are perfect usually. But in this case, you can simulate that. I started working out weight lifting, strength training when I was a teenager. That's right, my whole life. <laughs> I told you I'm very ritualistic. <laughs> so for me, I happen to have ankle weights. So I was able to throw 10 pounds on my ankles with these ankle weights, which I'm so glad I have. So this is 10 pounds. I was able to throw these on and do my leg extensions to get a really nice good flexion in my quadriceps and to get a really good and decent pump. And then when I'm done, I, flat, I flex, hold the pump nice and tight. And then do my stretch. And for that, I did four sets, 12 to 15 repetitions, depending on how I felt. Because of course, in this situation, I'm using less weight because I have less weight. I'm modifying my workouts with my home gym equipment. But it was perfect. It gave me everything I needed to get a decent leg workout in at home. And if you don't have this equipment, we're gonna talk about what to do, what the other options are that I've been playing with in my head, I'm gonna share with you. Okay, so, after I was done with my uh, quad workout, uh, I moved on to the hamstring bicep, okay? And for that, I did three exercises. I'm gonna, <laughs> Mark, UFO, thank, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for giving me your time. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I could really use that support. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, a question, whatever it is you wanna share, I wanna hear it. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm gonna do more because we gotta keep moving no matter what. We gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep, and we gotta stay pumped, right? We gotta stay pumped, okay. So I moved on from quadriceps, uh, I moved on to hamstring bicep, okay, which is hamstring bicep. Now I wanna focus on the exercises that I did for that. I did three exercises. Using, my ankle weights. I'm gonna put this on. I, I Velcro is like one of the greatest things that was ever invented by man. Do you know that? I mean, Velcro is like, Velcro is so good. Okay, so for Hamstring's biceps, um, I just did, uh, Lying leg curl, 
Let me see if this angle is going to work. Okay, tell me. I just did a line leg curl on my bench. You could do this on the floor. You could do this on a table. And with my ankle weights, I did line leg curls for the hamstring bicep. Feet together. And just nice and slow to focus on the muscle belly. Focus on the hamstrings doing the work. So you gotta really control the movement and you have to really squeeze the muscle at the top of the exercise and then come down, control, and squeeze. Come down, control, and squeeze. And squeeze. And then you clumsily get off the bench. Okay. Hamstring bicep curls. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, William. Thank you all. So lying leg curls like I would do at the gym on a machine, only I'm using the ankle weights. And you can use a dumbbell. If you have somebody who can help you, place the dumbbell in between your shoes. You hold them together and you slowly bring the weight up with the dumbbell. If you don't have any of those things, you can still lie down on a bench and do the exercise and think about squeezing the muscle belly and sort of make it an isometric exercise. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. You will wake up the muscle fibers and you will start feeling the tension in the muscle because your contraction that you're creating just with your own weight, okay, and your own control and your own movement will get a pump in that muscle belly, okay? Even if you have no weight, you can still create a contraction in the muscle belly, okay? Got it? Okay. So, lying hamstring curls on, on a bench, on the floor, on a table, all of these are options. Hi, David. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jermaine. Hi, Moises. Thank you for joining me. If you like my video, please like it. Leave me a comment. Uh, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. That would be hugely helpful to me, and I appreciate that. Okay, so exercise number two for the hamstring bicep. Now, I talked about the fact always that I do a set, I flex, and I stretch, right? After the hamstring biceps, flexing the hamstring bicep, the hamstring stretch. I'm going to back up so you can see that better. Leg forward locked out, leg behind it bent, and lean forward with the flat back to stretch the hamstring bicep. Okay? And then the other side. You'll feel a nice tight pull in that hamstring bicep with this stretch. This is like what runners do when they get ready to run. Of course, you know I don't like running, but I do run from time to time. Especially when I'm getting ready for my St. Jude run. But anyway, that's a great hamstring bicep stretch. The other exercise that I did, and I used my uh, ankle weight, was standing leg curl. So I'm gonna put this back on. I probably shouldn't have taken it off in the first place. I should just be walking around with these things on. 
Fanny Light Curl. I'm going to hold on to this little table I have here to give me something to lean on. All I'm doing is the same hamstring bicep curl only from a standing position. That's it. The thing is, the thing is, is that while I'm doing every single repetition, I'm doing the mind-muscle connection. I'm thinking about the muscle I'm working while I'm working it. So that every time I do a rep, I squeeze that muscle so I get a really good contraction and every single rep counts. Okay, I can't impress upon that enough. Every rep, it doesn't matter what I'm training, I'm squeezing, 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 okay? Now initially, you may have a hard time getting a contraction in the muscle that you're working. If you haven't worked out in a while, if you haven't done a certain type of exercise, it might take a minute it might take two, three workouts for that muscle to really start to fire and for you to really feel the isolation, okay? What you're doing, if you're just getting started, is you're waking everything up, all right? You're just waking everything up. Trust me when I tell you that your movements count, okay? Everything counts. If you're sitting on a couch, that counts too but not in a good way, okay? If you're moving, that counts. You're burning fuel for energy, and movement is critical to life. We gotta keep moving, keep moving forward. So, hamstrings, curls. When I'm done, I flex the muscle, and then I stretch it. Flex, squeeze, tight, 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 stretch, okay? Every set. Sets, flex, stretch. That's how I do it. Okay, so that was two exercises for hamstrings. The third and last exercise and the seventh exercise in my leg workout was hamstring stretches with dumbbells. I'm going to show you that. So for this, should I change this? All right, hold on. I'm going to change my position here. A titty tatty. Are you out there? <laughs> oh man, thank you for hanging with me. Uh, thank you for hanging with me. I'm gonna show you the last exercise and then I'm gonna sit down and rap with you and answer your questions and talk to you and, all right, and we're gonna lift each other up in a different way. So the third exercise with hamstring stretches, with dumbbells. And see, for me, I always got to figure out how the hell I'm going to show you the exercise in a way. Uh, because, you know, I'm the cameraman. I'm the lighting person. Actually, that's not true. I'm getting, I'm getting help on lighting. Hamstring stretches, dumbbells. Legs slightly bent. Leaning forward. And back up. Hamstring stretches. And let me tell you, my hamstrings... Feel it. I feel that stretch. Fifteen repetitions. 
my knees are not locked. They're bent down. As far as I'm comfortable, I feel the stretch and back up again. 15 repetitions, slight bend in the knee. Flex the hamstrings after the exercise. Flex, flex, flex those hamstrings. Flex. And then stretching. Quads. Hands, that was my leg workout, my first leg workout in my home gym, and I was really happy to be able to do it. Now I'm going to sit down and talk to you. And see what you guys are talking about. You guys and dolls. So I did seven exercises in total. I was pretty happy that I could get that in. I don't want to move this. Excuse me. I hope I'm not killing your ears. I'm just going to adjust this. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here in my home gym setup. I'm a little out of breath. See, it's working. I got my leg workout in. So that's really kind of a simple uh, workout that I was able to do at home and I was really happy that I had the equipment to do that. Um, it's great to see you too, Coco. Thank you for joining me. All of you, thank you for joining me. Um, and I'm working on a list of isometric exercises that I'm gonna do coming up without the equipment that I have because I know a lot of people at home don't have equipment. Um, I've accumulated this stuff because, you know, I'm 36 years in the gym. Um, but there are lots of ways to work out. There's so many ways. And I'd like to learn from you what you're doing. Some of you are boxers, boxers some of you are martial artists, some of you are runners, um, some of you do Krav Maga. There's all kinds of ways. Some of you are CrossFitters. Uh, I'm a professional bodybuilder. Strength training is my thing. It's what I recommend to everybody because as we age, we lose muscle and we grow weaker. That doesn't have to be the case. As we age, we can still grow stronger. And so strength training should be a part of everybody's daily routine or at least three times a week. And I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're starting. I don't care if you're 74 years old and you haven't worked out since you were in the army. Strength training is a huge benefit to you, to your physical health and to your mental health. And this is why it is my mission to share the benefits of strength training. Um, that's my soapbox and if you come look at me I'm gonna talk to you about it <laughs> hey Ruben nice to see you amazing art man Am amazing artwork thank you for sharing it so love you too James thank you so much hi hi Robert Getting yourself healthy is a mu it is a must, and I think that with this whole virus thing, um, I think it kind of these are teaching moments. This is where we have to look at okay, um, how am I? Am I healthy? Am I fit? Um, what can my body withstand? What can my mind withstand? And how do I improve on my my current set of circumstances? Um, that's why I'm doing these live broadcasts uh, because. People don't realize that there's so much more to working out than just the superficial, physical 
look of it all, you know? Uh, some people think it's just really uh, egotistical. There's more to the benefits of working out than that. It's mental health for me. Um, and most people I know um, who are going through tough times, depression, whatever, I say to them, look, get into the gym, start walking, start moving. They start feeling better. So there's all these residual benefits that come out of working out that you don't realize initially. And that's why I have to uh, promote it. And, and I practice what I promote. Rolando, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you for that. Um, anybody who's got questions, I would love, love, love to answer a question. Start moving. Yeah, you could start slow. You can start slow. Uh, most of the exercises that I did, I did because I don't have the amount of weight I'm used to. I did 15 repetitions, I did four sets. I wait about a minute, a minute and a half in between my sets. And then of course, as I said, I flex and I stretch in between. So that's how I use my uh, interval time. And I'm getting benefits. And my foot is coming along really well, thank you. I was able to do lunges this week for the first time. I was really happy about that. Thank you for asking, Rod. Yeah, so you know, Jared, that walking makes you, and you know what else it does? It makes me more creative. After I've done like 15 minutes walking, I, like, I got like all these dear ideas popping in my head. It's like pop, 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 my mind, like I might start off thinking about my worries or somebody who pissed me off or a problem that I have. And then after like 15 minutes, my mind starts coming up with all these great ideas. And then I have like all this great stuff I wanna do. And that's your body producing all these wonderful hormones that are released when you uh, stress your body a little bit through physical activity. And it just, it makes you feel more positive. It makes you feel more creative. And I just don't know what I would do without that, honestly. Exactly. So you pace yourself. Um, do not be discouraged if you're just getting started. So what? That means that your gains are going to be big. If you're just getting started, then your body is going to be like, whoa, you know, your gains will start almost immediately. You know, in two weeks, three weeks is when your body really starts to respond. As long as you're consistent, you have to be ritualistic about it. You know, you gotta make it a ritual, like, okay, I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna do three days a week, I'm gonna do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. No matter what happens, you have to make it happen. Carve out the time. Don't let anybody take that away from you, that's your time. And if you stick with it, your body will change and it will thank you. And you will, it just, it, that's the way it is with anything, right? If you wanna improve, you gotta stick with it. An artist, a musician, a doctor, a scientist, you know, an NBA player. It doesn't matter. You have to stick with it. I competed in the pro uh, ranks of bodybuilding for about 15 years. So I competed for almost 20 years uh, as a professional bodybuilder. So yes, Robert. I haven't competed in about, I haven't competed in 12 years. Thank you, Richard. I, you know, I hope what I share is of value to you and can be useful. If you have any questions, if you want to follow up, please put it in the comments. I am, um, that's part of what I'm doing. I'm checking you people out online. <laughs> so please feel free to ask questions. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. So I haven't competed in, in about 12 years. But see, because all the world is a stage, so they say, um, just because I haven't competed doesn't mean I stop training. This is my lifestyle. The older I get, the more important it becomes. So here's results for somebody who doesn't compete. If you think that I'm going to spend 25 years in the gym getting ready for a competition that I fantasize about which is what what it was for me I fantasized about being a, a pro bodybuilder when I was a teenager 
I worked my butt off to become a pro bodybuilder, to get on the international stage in the Miss Olympia. If you think that just because I'm not competing, I'm gonna give away all that work, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. You're nuts. Why would I do that? Why would I let all that work go to waste? Right? People ask me, why are you still lifting the way you're not competing? Why? Because I want to grow strong, not weak. I'm aging every single day. I know that. I can't help that. But I am slowing that down. That's what strength training and physical fitness does. It does it for your body and your mind. Do, do you agree with that? Does anybody, does anybody not agree with that? Does anybody not agree with that? All right, I want to answer this question. So Denise, uh, do you think that if you don't have access to weights, you can make serious gains just using body weight, but with higher reps, like the 25 to 30 rep range or more? Okay, so I, you can make good gains doing isometric exercises uh, using body weight and um, I think that the high reps are absolutely beneficial because what happens is with high repetition, you recruit deeper muscle fiber, right? So as part of my training, um, when I wanted to get really, really deep leg separation, I would do leg presses and, and, the, and I want to qualify this. I changed my workout up. I do high weight, low reps. I do low weight, high reps to confuse my body to get all kinds of benefits. But with high rep exercising, you're going to recruit deeper muscle fiber than you would the superficial muscle fiber, the fast switch versus the low switch muscle fiber. Um, I think there are great isometric exercises you can do without uh, a weight set that would be fantastic for your body, okay? And if I were you, I would Google isometric exercises, building muscle without weight to see what you find. And you're going to find circuits that are great for you to do either at home or outdoors or a combination of both of those two things. That is what I would recommend for you, okay? And I'm going to do some sleuthing on that as well. So Edward's got a suggestion. Uh, suggest the hamstring lying curl to stop the movement before the ankle goes over the knees so that you can have a constant muscle tension uh, on the tightening. That's a great recommendation, Eduardo. That's a great recommendation. And all of this is variations on a theme. You ever hear that expression, there's more than one way to skin a cat? Right? There's more than one way to do almost everything. And they can all be right. And everybody has to make modifications based on their own body and their limitations. We all have limitations, right? We all have, like, you might not have what I have here. So that's a limitation that you have to work out. Um, I'm going to come up with some options. I've already been working on this. Okay, I'm going to adjust that right there. Hi there. I just did my leg workout. So I'm gonna come up with some ideas on what you could use for resistance, okay? At home, that does not include equipment, all right? My wheels have already been turning and I'm gonna, I'm gonna share what I come up with with you and you can't laugh at me, okay? Even if you think it's ridiculous, you still have to be nice. But I'm gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Hi there. Lower back exercises. Uh, you can do you can do um, single arm. This is lower lat. You can do single arm rows. For the lower lat area, you can do hyperextensions. If you have somebody, if you have somebody who can hold your feet, there's a way to do hyperextensions. 
um, from home off of a bench. Or I have a ball and for lower back, I lift my legs. Let me see if I can demonstrate this real quick. Let me see, let me see. I'm improvising, I'm improvising. Let me see if I could do this to answer that question about the lower back. So I'm on the edge of the bench. Now, that's just me playing around. If you Google or if you do a search for great home lower back exercises, you're going to find all kinds of isometric ideas. Right? You're going you're gonna to find all kinds of ideas. That's what I'm going to do because the truth is, is that I go to the gym and I have been, I've been strength training, I'm a certified personal trainer. I use weights, free weights. Those are my disciplines. I do a limited amount of isometric training, but now things are different. So I'm gonna start digging into the isometric exercises that are available to me. And I'm gonna start playing with those. Okay, and I'm gonna modify them so that they benefit me and they don't hurt me because of course I have scoliosis. You know, I have things that, that bother me every day and I have to work around them. So, so the thing is, is that go looking for the information that's out there. We live in a Google world, which is really fortunate for us, especially in this circumstance of social distancing. Find exercises, try them. Be easy, be gentle, give yourself an opportunity to get moving and try them. If they hurt, modify your body, try something else. Start light. If you can only do three repetitions, if you can do one, just give yourself a body, Yeah, give your body an opportunity to start firing because you might just be waking your muscles up. You know, if you're just starting to wake everything up, give your body an opportunity to catch up with what you're doing, okay? And don't be discouraged if you you know, if you can only do three push-ups today, you got it. You have to just fight through it, accept the three, take a rest, start again, okay? You have to show up for yourself. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes? So, thank you, Brandon. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to, you know, read your comments. A lot of, a lot of you, I can't uh, see the comments because they're coming in, and uh, you know, I want to share the workout. Um, so, if I didn't see your comments or if I missed your comments, I will read them and look at them. If you put comments. Uh, in the comment section following this video, I will look at them and I will answer them to my, the best of my ability. And um, if you like the video, please like it. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you, Jared. Um, thank you, Jermaine, Zubair, Ken, uh, Sniffing Dog Art. Hi. <laughs> um, and the, the, some movements do get really, really hard, really fast, and that might frustrate you, but please, fight through the frustration, you, you're gonna win in the end. If you, if you fight through that frustration, you will win. Don't let it um, stop you. That's exactly what frustration does. It just stops you and fuck that. Um, so with that, I thank you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel and you wanna see more videos. I'll be back for another workout. And um, I'll also be back so we can do a rap session. I think we should be doing a rap session. I think that's what we should be doing. Um, and uh, with that, I bid you a great hump day and a good workout, okay? Stay pumped. Find a way. No obstacle too high, find a way. Thank you. Stay pumped, stay pumped, stay pumped. Stay pumped. Love you guys.